guys come closer come closer let's just what is this thing i'm hearing of joey bokwe what am i hearing about joey bokwe that what happened that he will not rest that he will not sleep until he deals with rufa yoseni hey, hey. guys eh? <laughs> it is getting messier it is really really getting interesting on the political scene and eh? this little clash oh, just a little clash that rufa yoseni had with just a guy or not baby that um a uh, politician is causing havoc in the camp of the politicians what is really happening hey <laughs> you see you see rufa yoseni whom people have tagged the mouthpiece of the people yes so he's been speaking for nigerians asking the relevant questions and you see whenever he throws questions at these politicians who have no answer to questions they will begin to cry a river they will begin to talk about respect for guests guys let me read to you what joe uh, ibokwe wrote he dropped i will not rest until the arrogant saucy incontrollable refile Yoseni is kicked out of arise television and sent to university to read mass communication guys eh? <laughs> who said people who did not study mass communication pro professionally cannot become uh professional journalist where is it written where is it written so you see so many people who studied mass communication who are practicing this mass communication are only dancing to the tune of the politicians they are not the mouthpiece of the people and you see this one man who has won several awards speaking asking the right question and then politicians are not having it easy with him at all it's not a free day for all they are not having it you know all along it used to be business as usual when they go for interviews they would just walk home smiling because they would have been coached and given answers to the questions but with rufa you're saying no you cannot get it as usual it will no no it will not be business as as usual let me uh you know we help you to uh, to refresh your memory yes recently just a few days ago a, a, an apc chieftain was a guest at a rice television and he made mention of the president not um you know taking away the fuel subsidy and then Rufai stepped in to ask a question to um, help refresh his memory that on the day of inauguration, the president took away subsidy. He announced subsidy gone and subsidy disappeared from there. So coming, to, coming now to say that it wasn't uh, President Tinubu who took away, uh, who removed subsidy. It's something that Nigerians who can never uh, con come to terms with. This man did not allow Rufai to complete his question. And you know, he kept telling him, let me finish. Let me finish uh, framing the question before you come in. But the man was trying to jump in and, you know, answer the question uh, anyhow without his completing the question and this you know kept going on and on and on until the guy the man became uh angry visibly angry and he started telling rufai that he, he that he was his guest and that as his guest uh, he was supposed to respect him and of course, Rufai said he had not disrespected him in any way. In fact, on the contrary, it was this guest, uh, Mr. Jesutega on on not Mesa, who mentioned that Rufai is a small boy, not just a small boy, a small boy that does not have home training and all that. He insulted um um Oseni Rufai on the national TV and Rufai did not get angry. It was this guy, this man, who insulted Rufai that got angry. And <laughs> since that interview, since that interview, there has been upheaval at the social media scene. And with these letters coming from Joe Ibokwe, who said he will not rest until he makes sure that, um, you know, um, Oseni Rufai was sacked 
from Arise Television. Has it come to that? Has it come to this extent? Joy Bokwe, who cannot conveniently go back to his village because his village people, uh, it, yes, his village people have disowned him. They have dashed him out. They said he has no place among them. He cannot come to their place. That he is a coconut head. Yes, he's been rejected by his people. It is this same Joy Bokwe who now said that, uh, you know, uh, Rufai Oseni has to be kicked out of Arise Television. But you see, since um, uh, 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 Joy Bokwe came out with this outburst, ah, social media has not known Piso. They have given it to him woto woto, from left, right, and center. They have reminded him everything that what he does, as in uh, Mr. Joy Bokwe, is to look for crumbs from the table of his masters. That has been his handiwork that has been uh, uh you know the way he's been succeeding and that he should not touch rufai oseni nigerians according to what i read from the social media space nigerians are ready to defend and protect uh rufai oseni with everything they have so he should not even think about it he should not dare he should not think about it guys eh <laughs> This situation is calling for, uh, you know, the attention of the people. people. In fact, people have been reacting. They have not stopped reacting. Is it Yule Doche who came up, came up to say that uh, Rufai was disrespectful? And of course, the people gave him Wutu Wutu and reminded him that he has failed, not just as a politician, he, that he has also failed in his family responsibility. And so he should shut up when people are discussing national issues guys eh? <laughs> it is getting messier everywhere at all front in fact the social media avenue is a no-go area for people without heart guys what do you think about this outburst from mr joe Ibokwe? yes this recent one what do you think do you think he can uh, do any harm to Rufai Oseni? Do you think he will make good his promise or do you think he is just blabbing? Guys, don't forget to leave your comment at the comment section. Don't also forget to like this video, share with your friends and to subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.